Hola amigos, me llamo Diego y soy un niño mexicano lleno de energía y alegría. L'une des délicatesses les plus appréciées de la France est le croissantune pâtisserie feuilletée. Bosofti emro arabia, ara anel deka el as. Sons xiaohua bingan dao cha bing. Imagine this, a talking AI avatar that doesn't just speak 17 different languages, but also moves their hands naturally like a real person. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to create one of these step by step and the best part, you don't need to be like a programmer or a designer or even know how to do like character animation to do this. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you love tech, AI and content creation hack, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get started. The best AI tool to use to generate an AI image is none other than Leonardo.ai. Once you're signed in, this is what your homepage is going to look like. You click on image creation, then you click on model slash preset. This is where we're going with flux dev. You leave these two as they are. Next is your image dimensions. You could go with any one of your choice, but I'm going with 16.9. Your number of images, that's depending on the number of images you wanted to generate for you. I'm actually going with four. Then you click on this X sign, you type in your prompt and then hit generate. So to generate a prompt, what you'll be doing is logging into chat GPT and typing a draft of what you'll be working with. So this is my draft. I want you to create a prompt for me. It will be like an Arabian lady sitting elegantly in a futuristic office. You can also tell chat GPT to give you more examples, which is give me five more with different scenarios in different languages wearing their cultural attire and click on this arrow as you can see chat gpt has a native prompt for me starting with the arabian lady then a japanese man dressed in an elegant dark blue kimono an african woman with deep brown skin an indian man with neatly tied turban so all you have to do is just copy the prompt and then paste it to leonardo.ai so these are the images leonardo.ai created for me you could always choose to upscale your image by upscaling is enhancing the quality of your image once you see a picture you're okay with all you have to do is just tap on download image and you can see your image has been downloaded you could always generate dozens of pictures depending on your prompt note that as a free trial, United.ai gives you 150 units per day. So this is my generated picture. All you have to do is just repeat the process depending on the number of prompts you have. Now we'll be moving to the next step, which is generating the audios with multiple languages. We all know Minimax AI, but do you know that Minimax has released the audio model? Now you can generate audios from text, clone your voice, and create high-quality AI-generated speech in 20 or more languages. Once you enter the dashboard by clicking the link in my description, the link will be in my description, sign up and you'll be redirected to this page. This is how the dashboard looks like. So the first thing to do is type in your speech and here you can see the language has been detected. Mind you, this doesn't convert the language. So what you have to do is have your speech typed in English, then tell ChatGPT to convert it to the language of your choice or Google Translate. This is me choosing Spanish. So the next thing we're going to do is select the voice we want. You go into voices. You have various options to pick from. You have the language you want, the accent, the gender, and the age. I should just practicalize with one. Let's see this one. In the quiet of dusk, every whispered secret. Or this one. Mind you, you could also choose the accent you want. You see, it breaks it down for you. The gender, maybe female. The age should be youth, or depending on what you want. So this is the voice I've decided to use. All you have to do is click on use and generate speech. Another option that we have on Minimax is using voices instead of using text to speech. You click on voices. Here you can create your voice clone. Click on this arrow. You can either choose to import a voice or record an audio. 
since I have a recording I've been working with, I'm just going to click this. This is the recording here. This is, as you can see, it's important. If your recording has a background noise, click on this to omit it. Then you name your recording according to your choice. This is me naming it as flow. Then language selection. Select the same language as the original audio to achieve the best voice clone effect. This recording is in English, so I'll be picking English. Then you agree to their terms and condition and click on convert. Once your recording has been updated on the app, it's going to appear here. All you have to do is type in your text and click on generate speech and it's going to generate in your voice. Next is downloading it. Once you're satisfied with your recording, it's going to download here. Once you're done generating your AI voices, what you're going to do is click on video. You'll be directed to a new page, which is this is what the homepage looks like. This is where we we'll bring our AI to life. As you can see, this website gives you free units every day. All you have to do is sign up. So let's begin. You click on create. Then you import the video you generated from Minimax. Let me select this one. This is it. So I'm going to be working with this prompt. As you can see, I've been practicalizing here. So you paste the prompt, then click on generate. As you can see here, it's generating. So here my ear has been brought to life. All you have to do is click on it, hit download, and it automatically saves on your system. Since we're done bringing our AI image to life, the next tool we'll be using is DreamFace. Don't worry, I'll be adding the link to every tool I use in the description box down below. Click on DreamFace, this is what the homepage looks like. Click on AI tools, then photo lip sync. Generate avatar video. It's going to land you to this page. You hit on photo slash videos. Click on this and upload any of the work you want. I'll be picking this one. As you can see my video has been uploaded next you can either choose to type in your prompt or audio since i already have my audio generated from minimax i'll be clicking on audio you can either choose to record one or upload an audio clicking one chinese voice since the guy here is chinese click on this hit generate so once your video has been generated, all you have to do is click on creations and your video is here. Let's watch this together, shall we? Once you're satisfied, all you have to do is click on download and that's it. You have it. You now know how to create a lifelike multilingual AI avatar with natural hand movements let's recap number one you generated an ai avatar image with leonardo ai number two we use the multilingual ai push with a minimax ai and number three we animated the avatar with natural gestures so if you found this helpful don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more awesome ai and content creation tutorials also let me know in the comment section what will you use um, your AI avatar for? Will you use it for your business, for your content creation, or something else? Just let me know. I'd love to hear your ideas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.